the story of Easter, Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus Come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 Huh, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. Believe
Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back and thank you for joining us again. I hope you have, have a very good time. I hope you all have a very good holiday. I hope you really enjoyed the movie. I for one loved it. I love the Saddleback Kids. The cartoon is always very funny, very cute. I love it. As well as the song. There's a bit of clue about the songs, about the lessons that we're going to learn today. But I love that song. It's rock on songs, yeah? Um, before I start and before... Um, we go into the lesson. I really wanted to know how you all doing. How you all doing in this uh, school holidays? It's a bit different this school holidays, isn't it? And like the usual, we can go out, see our friends, have a play date, maybe continue with our sports. Um, you know, play soccer, go outside, dancing class, or maybe ballet. We can't do any of that now, unfortunately, because of these strange situations that we're in that with the with the lockdown, with the social distancing, so a lot of you would spend a lot of holidays at home, like me as well. But we just need to make sure we are doing the right thing, we follow the advice from the government, we need to stay at home and make sure that everyone can be safe. But despite all that, you can still do other stuff. You can still go out, exercise, bike ride, you know, play in the park, uh, maybe not, not the play area, you're not allowed to, but you know, run around. And just be creative so don't stay too long with your ipads and then the um you know watching youtube and things like that because it's really bad for your eyes get a new hobby so look look at me this is for example um this is my new hobby i'm growing my beard which is really can you say that that's a hobby i'm not sure but anyway a little secret for you guys it's not just a, a kids that can be silly or weird adult can do the same things yeah okay so let's start today on today's lesson so if you have guessed it what we're going to learn today is john 3 16. this is probably the most famous uh, verse in the bible i i know it by heart because i love this verse um, so if you can open your bible at home uh, or if you don't have it you could see it here Ta -da! it'll come out here and let's read it together okay so this is what it says for this is how god loved the world he gave His one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. So remember that verse? This is what we're going to learn today. And we're going to learn three things from this, uh, from this verse. Number one is love. God loved the world. What do you mean by the world? Who's, who's the world? The world is me and you, everyone, right? And God loved the world not because we're cute or we're handsome or we're pretty some of you may be you can you're fine you're in i'm definitely not so i'm out unfortunately for me but anyway um also he didn't love the world because the world's good not because we're good we're not good we're maybe good most of the time but not all of the time he loved the world with no exceptions okay everyone is part of the world and he loves it so much that he gave his one and only son for us that is very, very precious, right? It's probably the greatest gift that we've ever received. If you think, uh, is it really? Yes, it is. It's, it's probably greater than your new Nintendo Swift. It's greater than your PS Pro, greater than your scooter, greater than your remote control cars, greater than your, um, what else? The super Uber limited edition Barbie that you have, or maybe the, the rare LOL that you have. I think it's greater than all of that. Um, and even more than money as well, right? So this is money you can't buy. You can't, even if you have money, you can't get this gift from God, right? So He loved the world so much. And now, which is Easter time, is a time for us to remember His love for us. So we're so fortunate that He loves us and His love never changed for us. Right, guys, we're going to lesson number two. Lesson number two is about belief. We're going to read the same scripture again from John 3.16. So so that everyone who believes in him we need to believe in him but he says everyone who's everyone everyone is kids adults teenagers short people tall people uh, old people what else boys girls means everyone okay so everyone who believes in him and for us to know what it means to believe to understand i'm gonna do a short illustration so i'm gonna ask my daughter evie for help evie come here please so, okay Say hi. Hello. So Evie is my daughter. She trusts me. I'm her dad. I always do the right thing for her. But I'm going to get her to put on this... Uh, can you please put on your blindfold? 
So now she can't see everything surrounding her. She has to be careful, but I'm gonna give her instruction and she'll follow the instruction. She relies on me to do the right thing for her, okay? So Evie, can you please take two small steps forward? Okay, and I want you to do one small step to the left. I want you now to lean back and sit down. Okay, thank you Evie. Stand up again. So what I'm trying to show there is that she doesn't know I've put a chair behind her. She just has to trust me that I, uh, I will either catch her or actually put a chair behind her so that she can actually sit down. Thank you, Evie. Thank you for helping. So it's the same way with God. God wants us to trust Him, right? So <coughs> just like Evie trusts my instruction, try her, trust her dad's instruction, I want you guys to trust God's instruction, which is our Father in Heaven. He's a good, good Father, okay? And he loves us. Everything that happened that he intended to happen for us is for our own good. The same way with, um, I'm sure your parents would have good plans for you. They'll put you to good school, put you to music lessons, maybe swimming lessons. All of that is for your own good. The swimming lessons so that when you swim, you don't drown. No music lessons so you can learn musical instruments so you can become good. If our plans for our kids are good, imagine God's plans for all of us, for me and for you. His plan is always good. His plan is perfect and His plan is always pleasing. So that's lesson number two. We're going to move on to lesson number three. Right, so now we've done lesson two, we're going to lesson number three. What's lesson number three? It's obey. Right, so for this we're going to open a new script. It's still the same book, but it's a, a bit higher script. John 3 verse 36. We got it over here. If you don't have your Bible, we're going to read it together again, okay? And anyone who believes in God's Son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't obey the Son will never experience eternal life, but remains under God's angry judgment. So there you go. So God wants us to believe. Lesson number two, believe in Jesus. And lesson number three is not only that He wants us to believe in Him, He wants us to obey His commandment. And how do we do this? We do this by reading His words and apply it in our life. So I'm sure a lot of you knows a lot about the Bible, knows the stories. You, you guys are an expert at it, right? But it's one thing knowing and it's one thing doing what the Bible tells us to do. So we need to do both. We need to believe and we need to obey. Um, even now with the current situation with the coronavirus, with or people call it the COVID-19, right? So we all have to stay at home. Why are we doing that? Why are we listening to the government? because the government is God's authority in our life. So the same way with your teachers at your classroom or your principals at your schools, right? So when you're at school, you listen to your teacher, you listen to your principal, the principal, the one who decides whether we're going to school or not after the school holiday. Looks like we're gonna go uh, study from home for most of us. And that also means listen to our parents. Our parents is God's authority in our life. So, uh, God gives the authority to our parents, we need to listen to them by listening to our parents and listening to our teachers, listening to our governments. It's really we're listening to God, so we're being obedient, right? So God speaks to us through many things and we must listen to our parents. And really our parents has a lot of good plans for us. And uh, like we said before, our parents got a good plans. Imagine God, God has greater plans for us. So. I just want to summarize once again the three lessons that we have today. If you can remember what's number one. Number one is love. Number two. Number two is belief. And number three is obey. Three lessons. We just need to listen to that today. And on that note, um, I'm going to close off with a prayer. So please uh, close your eyes, bow our heads, and we pray earnestly to God. God, I just want to say thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for these kids at home that can listen to, continue to listen to your words. I pray that you open their hearts, God, so that they can take in the lessons that we have today. We can appreciate Easter, God. We can appreciate what you've done for us. We can appreciate what Jesus has done for us on the cross, God. We want to remember you and we want to honor you. We thank you so much, God, for everything that you've given us into our life. I also want to pray that every single one of these kids, that they'll be safe at home, that they can, can still continue to do their activities in these new environments and you keep them all safe. 
Thank you so much, God. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I mean, guys, so thank you for listening for me and watching attentively. Next up, we'll have Om Jimmy and he's, got, he's going to share something very cool. I won't spoil it for him. This is it for Om Jimmy. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Good morning, kids. How are you all? I hope that you are well and safe. Um, thanks, guy. Uh, that was a good lesson. And look at that beard and yeah, keep it growing, bro. Um, so, guys, uh, today uh, discussion slide will slightly be different right normally you will have discussion with your teachers at 11 a.m. but today you're gonna have uh, this discussion with these most trusted and loving teachers at home with you all right you can have this talk with your mom and dad right this will be a great time a good quality time that you can go through all that question and talk with your mom and dad so if your mom and dad watching now just take a pictures of the slide after this and otherwise we'll the leaders of, of should have already sent you the e copy of the the, the questions um, yeah spend time with your kids and kids spend time with your mom and dad and ask questions about God experience in your life as a family and and how you guys worshiping Jesus together as one family and and appreciating God's love in your family you know just talk about this thing right so uh, look I hope that you enjoy today's lesson and enjoy your Friday and I'll see you this Sunday uh, let's go back again and worshiping God worshiping Jesus and yes I, I can't wait to see you back this Sunday thank you God bless you all bye bye